Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Donatello. Make up the team with one other fellow rock band. Bunga. Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is John Deke. My channel is called John Deke Toy Reviews and More. And just a few hours ago, I had something totally awesome arrive at my doorstep and I wanted to share it with you guys. And that is this beauty right here. That is the Raphael from NECA, the 18 inch 1 4th scale from the 1990 uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Unfortunately, this one did not ship in a brown shipper as nor as they normally do. So I'm gonna have to present it to you uh, like this. Uh, he shipped in just a, a generic uh, sized box. Um, all right, with that said, let's go ahead and check out the box. Um, first thing we'll notice is that he is cut out right here, which is the very traditional NECA uh, sort of the, the window into the packaging uh, so you could see the figure and then at the bottom of course you'll have the uh, the screen capture from the film and you'll have the uh, the title Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the uh, the name of the figure which is obviously Raphael and then on the side of the box we will see some photos of the actual figure these are not screen grabs from the film, uh, this is the actual figure. So there's some really nice uh, photos that NECA put on the box. Then on the back of the box, we have some more photos of Raphael, the figure. Then we have a screen grab from the film. And then we have it says, Raphael, now you can catch America's favorite green teens in their first live action blockbuster film after waiting blah, 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 and so forth. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. You get my point. So on the side of the box, again, same thing. We just have uh, some photos of Ralph. Top of the box, nothing spectacular. Oh, you can see me. Hey guys. All right, and uh, that's just the name of the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles name. And then the bottom of the box, which I'm gonna start uh, showing you guys the bottom of the boxes because I just recently discovered that NECA gives credit to their artists. As you guys know, I uh, founded One Six Society and I'm a huge fan and huge supporter of uh, artists in this hobby. So I like to always give them credit. So these are the artists who uh, were involved in creating Raphael, uh, specifically the sculpt who is uh, Tre Trevor Zamet and uh, Jason Fraley which is, uh, uh, they are the ones responsible for the sculpt and, and it goes forward with uh, fabrication, paint, photography, package design, director, etc. <clears throat> All right guys, let's get this thing out of the box. I am thrilled to show him to you and I'm also going to do something a little special and I'm gonna eventually, later on in this video, compare him to Donatello and show you guys what they look like together. All right guys, I will be right back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and got it out of the box. I uh, messed around with him for about maybe three hours now, did some comparisons uh, between him and Donatello, and I also uh, you know, shot some photographs and, and so forth. Um, the first thing I wanna go over is the accessories, okay? Um, so I'm actually a little bit disappointed because uh, he did not come with like an extra accessory like Donatello did. You know, Donatello came with this really awesome uh, canister of ooze. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Raphael did not. So that that's kind of a bummer. Nothing, nothing to uh, throw you off of buying the figure. It's still a fantastic figure and I'll go over all that with you. But I think that NECA could have thrown in a bonus Domino's pizza box or something stupid that could have cost them you know, not too much to mold. Anyway, the way I think they made up with it, uh, made up for it was um, by giving an extra hand, which uh, for the most part, all the hands are the same as Donatello, but um, there is one, uh, there's actually uh, 
one to three hands that are not the same, but the other ones are pretty much all the same. So let's go over to accessories. Again, we have a uh, slice of pizza, <clears throat> delicious uh, pizza for everyone to eat here. And uh, just for comparison, it's the same uh, mold and design as the one that comes with Donatello's uh, Donatello. So that's the pizza. Then you have this hand here, is a three finger turtle hand. The other one here. And then this is the hand that Donatello does not have. And this is the pointing hand. So as you guys know, you know, Raphael is more of a serious character. He might not, you know, have the uh, thumbs up dude hands, you know? So I guess the pointing hand might suit him better. So again, paint work, fantastic. I mean, you can just see that they outlined the black for the finger. The fingernails are different color. And uh, overall, it's just, a, I think it's a fantastic paint job uh, on the uh, hands. This is the other hand he'll come with. And then he comes with a almost like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like an identical set of these, you know, hands that he already has on him. I mean, they pretty much damn near look exactly the same as what is included um, on him when he arrives, like what's attached to him when, when you take him out of the package. So not really sure what the thinking behind that was. Um, maybe if you lose one, you'll have extras. <laughs> I don't know. But for the most part, as you guys can see, I mean, it looks, they're, they're identical. So that kind of, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. Um, and then most importantly, the signature size that come, his psi weapons. Um, they're not metal. They're simply plastic, molded plastic. But again, spectacular detail. I think they did a great job I don't know if you guys can see this or if my camera's picking it up. They did a really great job of making the metal or what is supposed to be metal look very weathered and, you know, very used. And then the leather wrappings on the handles for the side also look fantastic, I think. So it, uh, it worked out pretty well, I think. There's the other one. And, you know, you know how he does it. He does it like this to cross. That's how he does it. All right, so those are the size that come with him, and that's it. That's all the accessories. It is what it is, but it's still a great, fantastic figure. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the articulation. One thing I wanna mention to you guys is NECA is notorious for having tight joints, specifically in the legs and also the uh, arms, okay? My recommendation would be to heat these joints up, heat those joints up with a blow dryer before you decide to pose this figure and get these legs loosened up. Same goes uh, for the arms, okay? Just a little tip to help you guys out if you're new to this hobby or if you've never owned a NECA figure. I personally like tight joints. These joints are overly tight, but you're gonna need a, a blow dryer probably to, to loosen them up. Let's check out the articulation, guys. First thing I want to look at is the articulation for his head. We have a movement that will pretty much allow the head to go all the way around, like so, and back. And that will give you a little bit of a down movement and a slight up movement. So down, up, left, right. So you have a, a decent amount of articulation uh, with the figure there. The arms will move up like so to about right there, okay? The arms will also do a full rotation. So will the other one. 
and you will also be able to get a elbow bend to about right there and the elbow will also swivel left and right and you're also going to be able to swivel the wrist all the way around and let me just find it you're able to get a sort of a in and out motion from the wrist okay all right same goes for this arm you're going to get a full bend wrist rotation and a movement of in and out for the wrist as for the ab crunch you're still going to get a forward sloping motion like so and you're going to be able to move it back the one thing i want to mention uh, about doing a a ab forward and ab back uh, is, is something I think is really awesome is the shell here has a rubber mold on the inside that is attached to the back of the body. This mold actually flexes as you can see. Let me try to get that on camera. <laughs> see it flexes up and down. So as you're doing that specific position you're not losing any anything you know visually from the figure it's not leaving a, a big black hole there uh, it's it's you know continuing the, the the aesthetics of the figure the legs will do a full split and they are ratcheted and we'll go out all the way that there there you go if you ever wanted uh Raphael or a Ninja Turtle to do a split, you can do it with this figure. It's uh, pretty easy. And then the legs will ratchet back up. They will move forward like so. Let's go ahead and show you a side angle. So you got forward, a little tiny bit back, and then forward, okay? And then you're also going to have a rotation at the hip joint, which will go about that far to the left and about that far to the right. Same with this leg. You're going to get the leg to go up about that far. Sorry guys, this thing is so heavy to, to handle in front of my camera. And then uh, you're also going to get a uh, swivel here that goes out and back. Um, the knees will bend about that much. And they will actually bend a little tiny bit forward too, roughly. See that? A little tiny bit forward there. Uh, same for this one. Knee bend. Show you all angles so you can see. And then again, tiny bit forward. The ankles will pivot left, right, up, down, pretty much all around. Okay, same thing for this leg, all the way around, up, up, and down. And that is the articulation for the figure and I need a drink of water because I think I broke a sweat. Comparison time. It's what everybody has probably been waiting for. Um, this is Donatello and that is Raphael. And as you guys can see, the bodies are identical. There really is no difference. Uh, don't let any camera tricks fool you or, or throw you off. There is really no difference between the bodies on these figures. What you will notice is that Donatello has a few extra spots over here on his arms. Um, you'll see more shading in the uh, the forearm versus you don't have that shading here for, um, for Raphael. Uh, you'll notice just, again, 
the one major thing you're gonna notice is it's almost like Donatello has more spots than Raphael does. Uh, same goes for the uh, head sculpt, um, which obviously the head sculpt is completely different. Um, you'll also notice here that Donatello has a little more neck area than Raphael does. Uh, Raphael's neck is probably, I would want to say, uh, a quarter inch less lower than uh, than Donatello's. So this is pretty much the, the the main comparison between the front of the bodies. Let's turn them over and see the back of the bodies so we can get an idea of what the uh, shells look like. So again, you're going to notice that Donatello has a you know, fairly a uh, clean, clear shell, okay? And Raphael here has some scrape marks in it. So in my opinion, what I think NECA did was they molded this shell, they took the mold from this shell, uh, modified it, added a few scratches into it, and then, um, you know, obviously used it for, for Raphael. Do I see a problem in doing that? Well, no, not really. I mean, you have these figures, they're a hundred bucks. They're, they're not three, four, five hundred dollar figures. I don't see a reason why, you know, NECA wants to go crazy and create all new shells and, and, and you know, so forth. This is fine. Um, you know, do a little modification and call it a day. Um, as far as changing the bodies, um, I think Michelangelo is going to be smaller than these guys. Uh, I would imagine that they would have to change Mike's Mike's body, but we'll see. I mean, who knows at this point. So let's go ahead and give you guys a side to side comparison here. And there we have a side comparison of Donatello and Raphael. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what the sides look like. Again, don't let the camera fool you. It's exactly the same, because I can already see on my LCD screen here that this looks different, that looks different. It's just because it's not entirely easy for me to pose these things exactly the same right here in front of me. Um, these are large figures, so it's hard for me to handle them and then also have my camera, which is right here, in, you know, two inches in front of my face and uh, get them uh, posed for you, uh, uh, you know, properly. But for the most part, you can see they're the same. My final thoughts for this figure, what do I think? Well, I think it's, uh, it's a great figure. It's on the same level as Donatello. Uh, fantastic quality, uh, awesome paintwork. Um, you know, the articulation is, is crazy awesome for a figure this size. Um, and then obviously there is the head sculpt. Uh, that's, that's the money shot right there. It's a beautiful, gorgeous head sculpt. You could literally just grab this guy out of the movie and sit him on your desk and they look identical. I love it. I think, uh, you know, if, if I had to buy it again, if I wasn't reviewing this, would I? Absolutely. I think it's a fantastic figure. Where does the figure lack? Well, I think it lacks in accessories. I think they could have, you know, threw us a bone and, and given us another accessory, maybe a pizza box or, or something cool with, uh, with Raphael. Um, I'm a little confused as to why they included the uh, extra set of identical hands that he already came with. Um, not sure why, why they did that, but hey, I guess they have their reasons. Um, yeah, so that's it guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my review. Um, check out my Facebook toy group called One Six Society. We have awesome members. Uh, we have over 2,000 members right now. We talk about toys, we share pictures, and, and it's a fantastic group of people, and we'd love to have you have you part of it. If you have any questions about Raphael, leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them for you. Please, please, please smash that like button. Let me know that what I'm doing, uh, you are enjoying it, so I can do more of it. And uh, also, subscribe. All right, guys, until I do the next video, thanks for tuning in, 
and I will catch you guys at the next video. Take care.